everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay and continuing to stay safe. Um, it's Vlogmas Day 10. So it's about 10 past 7 in the morning. So it's still dark outside. Um, yeah, the day has begun for me. So I'm grateful and thankful for a brand new day. And as usual, I start my day taking my vitamin D tablets. Uh, yeah, Adcal D3. Uh, can you see? Adcal D3. And I take two. Two of these. They, they are, I think, 750 milligrams. Or 200 IU. I forget what IU stands for, but yeah. So, two of these. There you go. Um, so, you know, make sure you're taking your vitamin D. Because that is extremely important. Um, so, yeah. And along with that, I'm not going to take them with this. Cause it's boiling hot this is my lemon water i don't know if you can see a bit of the lemon in it but yeah i do like my lemon water so even before i start on my herbal teas it's lemon water first thing so yeah my little routine type so yeah as the day progresses i will you know in fact i might do an overview of the rest of the tablets that i'm going to be taking for today because, you know, there's a few, although I do, you know, I know that there are many, many people out there who take double what I'm taking or triple, you know, um, even much more powerful um, medication than I'm on. But this is my channel, so I'm just showing you what I take. So, yeah, I'm just going to... Enjoy my lemon water and go and take my vitamin D's and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Oh, the day is dawning. Look at that. Mm. Hey everyone. So here's all my tablets that I take for the day. So, you know, there's a few of them. So this one, this yellow one, that's omeprazole. Then that one is carbimazole. That's for thyroid because I was diagnosed with hyperthyroidism. That one is amlodipine. That's for blood pressure. That's vitamin D, the brown one. That other white one, that's thiamine. And then this small one is propantholine. And that's just for side effects, uh, stomach, yeah. Then the two there, they are azathioprine. So these these ones I will take next. I'll take all of that concoction, then wait about an hour, then take these two. And like I said, they're azathioprine, um, yeah. Then comes the pièce de résistance which is a truckload of prednisolone, so 24 tablets there. Yeah, okay, so take them. And then in the evening time, there's another two azathioprine. And then just before I'm going to bed, take vitamin D. So yeah, there you go. But thankfully, um, the prednisolone and the carbimazole, yeah, I take those every other day. So I don't take them, you know, each and every day. So that, that, that's good. That's one thing. So, yeah. So, uh, sorry about my filming techniques. Not great. But yeah, so these ones are the next ones that I'm taking, this little section here. So I will go and do that. Yeah, breakfast was just bran flakes and 
one of my herbal teas. Yep. The time is 9.15 a.m. It's blood sugar time. Yep. And my blood sugar for this morning is 5.2. So, that's all right. I'm happy with that. Yay! <laughs> So hey, um, it's just gone 6pm now and I've just had my dinner, it was quiche, so I've not had quiche in a long time, so yeah, it was okay. Um, so what have you been doing today? Hmm? Uh, I've just been chilling out, nothing major really trying to tidy up and keep things spick and span. So I thought I'd just do a quick chat. You know, I know I'm not alone in saying it's been hard these past few months with one thing and another. Um, for me, you know, with my steamy gravis, um, and with it becoming more generalised throughout my body. So back in uh, September, um, you know, I was, well, my sister-in-law affectionately called me floppy because that's all I did. I just flopped around the place. You know, the weakness I had it in the wrists and the fingers. So if I, you know, like a normal person would put their hands out to, you know, stop them from banging into a wall or banging their head on the wall. I didn't have that because it was just all weak. So I remember one particular time she was helping me go to the bathroom and she was just like, you know, say, she said to me, right, wait there. You know, because there was like a wall in front. She said, wait there while she was opening the door and everything. And I just, because there was no, you know, because I didn't have the strength, when I put my hands to steady myself, it kind of went like that. So I ended up banging my head on the wall. So, you know, hence the nickname Floppy. So, yeah, that, that was hard. So I have to admit that I myself am guilty of this and that is in taking the little things for granted. You know, like running up and down the stairs, having the strength to brush my teeth, to undress, you know, to undo the buttons or to dress myself, to hold a spoon, to have the strength to lift a spoon all the way up to my mouth. Yeah, to be able to hold a knife and put pressure in cut foods, to hold a knife and put some butter on your bread. You know, to be able to, oh, have do this. I mean, you know, my hands were like, my fingers were like this because I didn't have the strength to push my fingers and straighten them. Just the little things. You know, to be able to scrunch your eyes up tight and keep them closed. Yeah, to open, opening a pack of crisps, uh, holding a pen, writing, putting one foot in the other, in front of the other and walking. Being able to lift your foot up because the message is, being, message is being sent from the brain, you know, but the... The, the hands, the voluntary muscles, they're not picking them up. So, you know, it's, 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 it's a long journey. It is, and we just take these things for granted, getting in and out of the bath, going to the toilet by yourself, wiping your own butt, you know, uh, preparing your own dinner. There's a lot of things that, are just like second nature to us, so therefore we don't think we don't think about them. Each day is different, and I'm thankful for each and every one of them, no matter how difficult or easy the days might be. So, um, 
I hope you continue to enjoy the rest of your day. This has been Vlogmas Day 10. Uh, keep smashing this live. Continue to stay safe. And I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 11. Subscribe, give a thumbs up, share, like, comment. I'll see you soon.